What's up, Virgo? It's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen's Tarot Bee in Boston. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And let me see. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. If this is not part of what's going on with you right now, don't force it in, okay? Um, it is a general reading. If you'd like something more personalized, please see the box below. My email is there. You can email me for a list of services and donations. Um, you can also reach me on Facebook, which let me just remind everybody is a personal Facebook, so I'm not really accepting friend requests. Um, they've been kind of lining up. Um, as far as reaching me, otherwise you can reach me on Skype. So if you've sent me an email and I haven't answered, it probably ended up in my junk box. And Outlook answers my, excuse me, dumps my emails before I can answer them. Um, okay, so cross watchers, welcome to the Queen Bee. And uh, you can leave your comments below. Just know that the energy sometimes comes in, vice versa. And if that happens for you, you can leave a comment. Uh, if it gets a little hard, that means that I've read it. I have to go through my comments still. I'm kind of on a time crunch right now because I've decided to start doing weeklies instead of monthlies. So with that being said, this is for January 7th through 14th, 2020. And let's get to the good stuff. So for this month, I feel like you guys are really feeling love for somebody. You're feeling really in love. I, I feel like you're kind of enveloped in this feeling for someone. But I do feel like they're not really good for you. This could be toxic. This person could be very, very toxic for you. They're kind of sneaky. They're not being honest. They're not being truthful. And I feel like that's causing some hurt somewhere and bringing up some hurt from the past. Um... And that's something that you're going to have to work on. You're going to have to do some shadow work this month and next month to get through this. Um, what else am I feeling? Um, I feel like you're going to move away from this person. But with that, you're going to take some hurt, some major hurt with you. I feel like you fell pretty hard for this person, okay? Um, their secrets are going to start coming out. They're going to start coming to you in ways that you weren't expecting. You may be finding out from random stuff that happens. Rent Someone randomly knows the person that you're, you know, seeing or whatever that is. Um, you're going to be finding out in a harsh way. You're not going to be finding out from the person you're with. You're going to be finding out from maybe friends who saw them out with someone else or family that may have um, known them in the past and has heard some things about them now um but just know that the way that it's going to come in isn't going to be so nice okay i'm sorry guys well let's see if the cards back up what i'm saying to you okay um i just feel as though this person doesn't really want to let anybody in right now and you're going to have to make kind of a harsh decision in terms of letting them go okay um yeah, there's going to be no communication or there is no communication currently between you because of the nature of the way things ended. I don't feel like they're a very um, good person. I don't feel like this is good for you. I feel like it's going to be very toxic if you continue to stay in the relationship. Yes. I see the Hierophant moving around. And I see that you're being very nurturing, but this person is being very honest, okay? This is not your person. So with that being said, I also feel as though you're at this crossroad and I feel like you want to get back with this person because you have so much love for them, but at the same time, you don't feel as though they're going to be truthful with you, okay? Let's see what we got for you guys. Yeah, you're wanting to move forward with the magician and start getting some new stuff in your life. You know, you want to start manifesting new things and good things in your life. But I don't see that this person is being honest with you. Okay. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. That's my sort of truth and the magician. So it's like you're trying to manifest something with them, but... That's not going to work out when you're not being honest with this Ace of Swords in reverse. 
So I feel like you want to start manifesting elsewhere. You want to start manifesting something that's right for you. They're not wanting to work together and you've got some devastation showing up in your past. You've got the three of pentacles in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. Okay. Um, excuse me, the five of swords in reverse. So this person is very acting, very cocky, very rude toward you because this is the five of cups. Excuse me. Usually when I do that, it's because the card is wanting to come out, but it's not showing itself um, or it's kind of lost in the shuffle. Um, what you're wishing for and what you're getting from this person are something so totally different from each other. Okay, you're wishing for this Ten of Cups with them, but you're not getting that. Instead, you're getting this devastation and them not wanting to work it out. Um, here's that love that I was talking about. You guys are kind of in your Queen of Cups mode with the Ace of Cups and you're in love. You're truly in love with someone, but they're not feeling the same way toward you. Okay. Um, with that, I'm seeing the Nine of Swords. So this person, you've had some sleepless nights. You've had some nights where you sat up and you really felt as though this person was doing you dirty, but you couldn't really put your finger on it. Okay. Because they're equally reciprocating with you. So they're you know, playing the back and forth, you give, they give game. But at the same time, they're also doing it with other people with that seven of swords. Okay. It's not just you in their life. There's somebody else. And there's some lies going on there. Um, with that is the emperor. So you're standing right in your power and you're wanting family with this person, with this 10 of pentacles, but it's reversed. And with that is the Ten of Swords. So you're really coming to the end of a cycle with someone and needing to move on but not wanting to because you're feeling a strong love for this person, okay? Um, walking away and keeping your guard up. Going for that last final push to that Ten of Wands. You've got the, eight, the Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. Communication again. So you guys may be communicating, they may not be answering back, or vice versa. They may be communicating and you're not wanting anything to do with them, okay? And with this Eight of Cups and the walking away, it looks like you kind of had to put your pride in your pocket and keep it moving, keep that love to yourself, because this person isn't worthy of that love. With moving on, though, you guys are really getting, you're going to get some, the universe will bring you some abundance in return because you learned to let go this month. You've learned to take your feelings and realize this person wasn't worth the love that you had to give. And here's those secrets coming out, okay? So the moon in reverse is letting you know that there's some secrets here. There's some things that you need to know. And this person is not going to tell you. There's that communication again. You're going to find out in weird ways. I feel like maybe family members, again, friends, seeing them out with someone or even their friends calling you or something weird because the people are seeing that you're really in love with this person and they're wanting you to know this person isn't worth your time. Okay. And with that, here's your decision. Okay, you're you're needing to make this decision because you're finding out this information. Um, and here you are with the fool starting a new journey, walking away. You're facing away from the situation. So you're needing to start a new journey away from this person, but you're really hurting and you're really uh, got some anger that you gave your love to this person and they just used you, okay? And so you're needing to get control of that anger. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you for the week of the 7th through the 14th, 2020. It feels weird saying 2020. Um, if you guys need a more personalized reading, just keep in mind it is general. It's not going to apply to everyone. It may apply to some of you information again is in the box below and i will catch you guys on the flip side it's your girl kelly coming straight at you for the queen tarot b in boston bye guys see you next week